Welcome to practice, everyone. Today, I think we might have done it last Monday too, but we're going to do the Yi Jin Jing practice. Yi Jin Jing is the muscle and tendon, tendon strengthening classic. That's literally what it translates as. And it's one of the, um, I guess, the more yang type um, Qigong exercises. Most Qigong exercises are yin, they're quietening and calming. Um, moving without any effort. But with Yi Jin Jing, there's a few things that are a little bit trickier. As always, with every practice, every time we come to the mat, just take a moment to just allow everything to settle. You might notice shoulders dropping away from the ears. You might bring your attention to the heels and feel them heavy into the mat beneath. You might scan through the face, 300 muscles in the face and just see if you can relax them all. You might even take a smile, just hint of a smile. And just allow the next breath to sigh out. And no matter how busy your morning has been, whatever effort you took to get to the screen right now, just let it go, leave it behind you. Every day we come to the mat, we aim to learn something about ourselves. Sometimes we're brought up to believe we have to understand the whole world all the people in it. And this is, of course, way too confusing, way too complicated, much easier just to bring our attention inwards and just become part of this lifelong journey of trying to understand ourselves. Simply by watching, by noticing, through focus, through deep listening, so we come to the mat to see if we can hone these skills of focus. Let's take our hands down by the side of the body. We'll inhale to reach up, lift up. And then sink into the heel, slowly sigh out, bring the hands down in front of the body. Shoulders are heavy. Let's inhale, reach up again, lift up. Exhale, side out. And one more time, we inhale, we reach up. might start to feel that you're just moving energy away from thoughts, away from busy mind into the body. Let's bring one hand to heart center, one hand to lower belly. Take a few moments just to connect with our breath. Without trying to change it, just notice how fast or slow it is. Are we breathing through our mouth or our nose? Are we breathing through our chest or our belly? Is our breath even or irregular? Without any judgment, just notice where you might be right now. Is your mind staying on the breath or is it running backwards through time, anxiously planning the future? Whatever your thoughts might be doing, just notice that as well. Maybe 
Maybe we start to feel the lower belly expanding as we breathe in. As we sigh out. Let it go. I like to bring attention right to the tip of the nose. Feel the next breath coming in through the nose. Feel a sense of this oxygen, this energy moving down through the throat, through the lungs, into the body. Reminding ourselves we have 37 trillion cells in our body. All hungry for this oxygen, hungry for energy. Let's take a moment to watch what happens as we breathe. Today, as we go through the 12 forms of Yi Jin Jing, we're going to keep reminding ourselves of this idea of Qigong practice and Wu Wei, this idea of moving with effortless action, where our mind is not getting in the way of the movement with doubts or criticism or second guessing. Most importantly, we don't have any outcome, no specific expectation of a result from the practice. We use each form just to explore, to learn, to be curious. So often in our lives, we feel like we need to have an outcome, an acknowledgement a reciprocation. Today, let's just see if we can go on the adventure together of just learning something about ourselves, about our bodies, without setting ourselves up to fail. We're just on the path. We start where we are. We start who we are. Exactly how we look how we feel, and then we just explore together. When we take away this expectation of a result or a vindication or an acknowledgement, we free ourselves up from this idea that we can fail or that we can fall short. Whatever we practice grows stronger, so every time we come to the map, we learn something. You might say it to yourself whenever you have doubts, whatever I practice becomes stronger. Whatever I practice becomes stronger. Into the next breath, just drop your arms down, shake them out a little. We'll start with our wrist, just join the hands together, just roll through the wrist. You can interlace the fingers if you like. Explore the wrist joints. Any direction, just listen to your body, which way is it telling you to go? We might draw the wrists together, roll them over. Connecting points on our lung and heart meridian lines. Let's take our arms up above the head. We'll grab a hold of one thumb and then just gently tug that 
bum overhead, opening up the side body, press through the feet, keeping the connection, side out. Let's inhale and grow tall again. Switch to the opposite thumb, side out, draw it across the body. Inhale to reach up. Exhale, let it go. Inhale to reach up. Exhale, side out. Let's bring our hands to your heart center. Palm presses into palm. Take a moment just to notice this energy moving into the center line of the body. Neck is long. Tuck the chin in a little. Let's take a breath in together. Exhale, push out. Open the chest. Inhale, back to heart center. Exhale, let it go. Let's find your own flow here and keep attention on the heels. Heels are heavy. Knees might be just a little bit bent. Inhaling to come back in. Exhale, side out. Shaking it out. Let's take our arms wide and just allow movement through the mid part of the spine, the thoracic spine. Just allow your arms to knock against the back of the body, lumbar spine, the kidneys. You might take the arms a little higher. Shoulders stay heavy. And just notice what's happening with the breath as you move. And whenever you're ready, slow down again. Allow the arms to come by the side of the body. Take a breath. Let's drop our right ear down towards the right shoulder, but just let, allow the shoulder to be heavy. Don't allow it to creep up. And then we'll roll the chin in, come up the mid part of the body, drop the ear down. Let's take small half circles. Maybe changing direction, come back the other way. Let's meet back in the center, take a big breath in. Exhale, left ear comes down to left shoulder. Let the shoulder hang down, roll forward. Come up halfway. Maybe switching directions. Now we're going to pull out or push our chin in. So push your back, embrace double chin a little bit so your neck is long, crown of the head lifts up. You might remember this point right at the top of our head, the bark weight point. Feel it rising up, neck long, chin tucked in. Just push your back with your hand. Feel your head stacked over the shoulders and torso of the body. And then we're going to interlace our fingers. Just gently pull the head forward, press through the feet, and then push your head back into the hands. 
You might also feel a sense of lifting up. So neck is long, chin is still tucked in. Energy moving in both directions. Take a breath and then sigh it out. Let's come to our waist, take some circles. Come back the other direction. Take our arms wide and just small circles, just the size of a tennis ball, both directions. Let's draw our hands together and we'll hook one lot of fingers into the other side, elbows wide, pull the hands in each direction Let's inhale together, exhale, turn and turning up the thoracic spine again, keeping neck in line with the spine, inhale to come back to the center, exhale, twist to the other side, inhale back to the center, Just turn in your own breath, sighing it out. Inhale back to the middle, let it go. Let's bring our feet and knees together, small circles. And then we'll take them back hip width apart. Let's ground through one leg. We'll lift up one foot and just roll through the ankle joint. You might like to take your hands to your hips or out front, whatever works for your balance. And then let's shift to the other side. We'll just do one little set of balances. Let's inhale to lift one knee up. Take a breath. Exhale, push out and take the foot forward. Inhale, lift up the knee. Exhale, side down. Shift to the other side. Press through the standing leg. Inhale, lift the knee up. Exhale, take the foot forward. Inhale to lift up. Exhale down. One more each side. Moving with the breath. Inhaling to lift the knee up. Exhale, push out. Inhale to lift up again. Exhale, side out. Shake out, mom, shake out legs. All right, let's come back into stillness. Feet under the hips. Lift up the toes. Let's place the toes back down. Maybe it's that very subtle moving between the ball of the foot and the heel. Pressing through each one of the toes. Just allow the lower body to be heavy. You might feel as you press through the feet, these leg muscles switch on. 
tucking the tailbone under just a little so that the base of the spine is straight and long. You might feel it even right up to the back of the neck. Crown of the head is still reaching up. Arms are heavy by the side of the body. Take a moment to come back into the breath. Shoulders are away from the ears and we're looking for those dual qualities in every Qigong shape, that idea of being alert without being tense and being relaxed without any dullness or sleepiness. You might like to just open your eyes and look out into the periphery of your eyes, eye of your sight. See if you can embrace this idea of alertness without tension. What can I notice? Even though I'm still not feeling sleepy or dull or distracted, First form in Yi Jing Jing, we just draw energy up, curl the arms in, draw energy into the heart, exhale, hands come down. Inhale, and then sighing out. So we feel like we're drawing in new energy into the body, storing it in the body. Just find your own rhythm and your own breath. This time we draw the arms up and in towards the heart. Second form, we press out to the sides. Sense of letting go. We bend the elbows, draw the hands back in. Sigh out. Shoulders are heavy, elbows are heavy. Inhale. Let it go. The third form, we draw energy back in. This time we turn the palms up and press out as we let go. Inhale, draw back in. Turn the palms, push up. As you push up, bring attention to the feet, energy moving in both directions. Draw energy in, side up. We'll take our left hand to our lumbar spine. Right arm extends high and behind the body. Twist, point the fingers up. Let's take a big breath in. We exhale as we take that hand across the sky twisting the lumbar spine all the way across to the opposite side of the body. Let it go. Inhale, we turn back to the center. Exhale, sink down. Heels are heavy, shoulders are heavy. Take that hand around to the back. 
Inhale, draw that hand up and behind the body. Left hand comes high. And then we sigh out, take it across the sky. Inhale, back to the center. Exhaling down. Everything heavy. Right hand comes up, twist, look behind, take the fingers high. Side out, turn and twist, take the hand across the body, keeping our eyes on the fingers. Inhale, back to the center. Let it go. So you might remember this form is called plucking a star and transforming it to the Big Dipper. form we draw energy into the body and we turn the palms as we press out dropping our sit bones down towards the heels press through the heels inhale draw everything back into the body exhale let it go inhale Sigh out as you drop the tailbone down. Inhale, press through the feet. Exhale, let it go. One more time. Keeping the weight in the back of the body, no pressure on the knees. Side out. So the sixth form, we step our right foot forward, take a bow stance, so knee is stacked over the ankle, back foot is turned in 45 degrees. We slowly float the arms wide. A little bit like a warrior two stance if you've done yoga. Shoulders are heavy. We inhale to take one hand to our lumbar spine, one loose fist to our shoulder, turning our chin to the shoulder. And we exhale to open out. Inhale, draw everything in. Exhale, let it go. If you feel wobbly, just bring attention back to the feet. We want our leg muscles switched on here. We want adductors switched on. So you might like to press through the outside arch of the foot. Feel those muscles engage. Feel deep connection to the earth. Just move through. Inhaling, drawing everything inwards. Exhaling, letting it go. Shoulders stay heavy. Scan through the neck and jaw and check if there's any tension anywhere. One more time, inhaling to center. Exhale, let it go. Step that back leg forward. And we're just gonna do the switch to the other side. So left foot forward. Extend the arms wide, drop the shoulders down. 
Press through the feet. Inhale, draw everything in. Chin meets the fist. Exhale, let it go. Inhale. You might get a sense as you move here, this natural tension and release comes in every element of our life as we move between yin and yang, high and low, fast and slow, always searching for balance. So we're neither one or the other. After every stress comes healing. After every bit of work comes rest. So often when we have a goal, we feel like we need to move in one direction. And we always need to teach ourselves to just bring balance into everything. Both directions at once. Allowing this energy to move from one to the other. And let's step that back leg forward. We'll knee back in the center, feet come under the hips. Let's take our left hand back behind to the lumbar spine. Right elbow comes up. Curl and reach, twist the spine, look back towards the elbow behind the body. Inhale, and then we exhale to draw that elbow down and across the body to the outside of the left knee. Inhale, curl back, lift up. Exhale, let it go. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, side up. Inhale, reach up. Okay, this time as we exhale, let's take the hands wide, side them down. Left hand comes behind the head, right hand to the lumbar spine. Inhale, turn and look to the elbow behind the body. Exhale, let it go. Take the elbow right outside the right knee. Inhale, lift it up. Exhale, let it go. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, side up. One more time. As we sigh out, take the arms wide and bring them down. The eighth form, we step the feet wide. Inhale, take the arms wide by the side. Exhale, drop the tailbone back of the body, sigh out. Inhale, straighten the legs, lift the palms up. Exhale, drop down, tailbone heavy. Inhale. Let it go. One more time. Sign up. Stepping the hand, feet back under the hips. Take a breath. The ninth form, we draw the palms together. Deep breath in, and then we push across the body, side out. Take that hand down, pausing the breath as we scan across the ground, right to the other side, and then we inhale to draw energy back in. Exhale, push across the other side. Take the hand down, pause the breath, scan the ground. Inhale, lift back up. Exhale, push. See if you can find a sense of timelessness as you scan the earth beneath us. Inhale to draw energy back in. 
Exhale, push across. Moving with the breath. Opening through the chest as we push out. Cycle in how to come up, exhale, let it go. The tenth form we shift our weight onto one leg, take our hands along the center line in that holding the ball shape, and then we step out to the side, push out, inhale to draw energy back in. Exhale, let it go. This time, let's push out all the way down to the floor. Drop the back knee. Inhale to look up, lift the chin. And as we exhale, we press through the floor, come back to the center, into the middle, and drop our weight down. Left hand comes on top, shift the weight to the left leg. Big breath in, step out, pushing out. This is a dragon form. Water energy, move like the waves, inhaling to draw energy in. Exhale, push out all the way down. Drop the back knee. Inhale, lift the head, lift the chin. Exhale, press through the floor, step the weight back, side up. One more each side. Inhale. Exhale, push out. Inhale. Exhale, all the way down. Inhale, lift the head up. Exhale, step back to center line. Shift the weight to the right foot. Step it down. Inhale. Step out. Find your own rhythm with the breath. Meet back in the center line. Take a moment. The 11th form, we interlace our fingers, take our hands behind the head. And we're just looking for those two big bones at the base of the skull, the occipital bones. Tap under these bones with the thumbs. And then we simply hinge forward, sigh it out as we come down. Press through the feet, allow the head to be heavy. Take a breath as we slowly draw the head up. And then we sigh up. Press through the heels. Hands come behind the head again. Tap as we slowly press through the feet, allow the head to be heavy. Inhale as we raise the head back up. Exhale, side up. Final form, take a breath in. As we exhale, the shoulders are heavy, hands come down in front of the body. Just allow everything to be heavy. 
Now we just might rag all the arms from one side to the other. And then we inhale, drawing earth energy back in. And we side out. Inhale together. Exhale, head is heavy. Press through the feet, slowly come down. Scan the hands, flat to the floor, all the way from one side to the other. And then take a breath as we come back up. And we sigh out. One more time, inhaling together. Exhale, slowly take the head down. Twisting. And then inhale to draw energy from the earth. Exhale, side out. Let's bring one palm to the belly. Wrap the other hand over the top. Take a moment to notice how you feel right now. Maybe a little lighter. Notice the feeling in your toes, in your fingers, in your face. You might like to bring just a hint of a smile to each side of your mouth. Just tell yourself, I have arrived. I am here. Maybe this is my destination. This is my goal. So stillness itself becomes what we're searching for. Every day we come to the mat, we take another step in the journey of practice so that we can arrive and be entirely here, entirely present, noticing everything around us, hearing only what needs to be heard, moving away from distraction, from restlessness. Let's bring our hands together, create a little bit of heat. As we bring the hands to our face, maybe we make an intention to take the energy of this practice out into whatever we do with the rest of our day, whoever we speak to, whatever we try and achieve. May we bring this feeling of effortlessness and clarity. Let's bring our hands together, just acknowledge shared energy of practicing each day.